What up, what up, what up? Prime Mega New Trees representing to the fullest. Trees up. First and foremost, I want to say happy Father's Day to all the good dads and fathers and father figures out there. Also, happy Juneteenth. Also, want to wish my father a happy Father's Day. He's smiling down from up above. And this just makes me, this day makes me think of, uh, we had a conversation years ago um, on the phone and we were just discussing, you know, his accomplishments. And I pointed out to him to not forget the impact that he made not only on my life, but other young men that I've grown up with. And um, he was a coach. He was our baseball coach from the age of five all the way up to like teens. And I told him, um, you know, that is such a difficult role to take on that not many people won't apply for the job or take on the job. And even though he didn't see it as a job because he enjoyed himself, he loved this, the game of baseball and he loved teaching that game uh, to young men. And I told him that even though you didn't see that as a job, you have made a tremendous impact on people that I've grown up with. And they tell me all the time, even up to this day, this is years and years later, they're still, when we get up, when I see somebody I grew up with and with, I played baseball with, sports, they always, they always say, man, you know, your pops was a good dude, you know, taught us a lot. He taught us about a lot about life, not just the game. And he actually taught us about life through the game of baseball. Cause I think back sometimes and I was like, wow, he actually was giving us some game while teaching us the game. And, um, you know, he taught us things like being on time, being prompt, you know, being consistent, things with, that with practice brought us, how we got better through consistency. You know, I had this, like I said, this conversation and, you know, I told him, you know, don't, do not at any cost um, take that for granted, you know, um, which he didn't, but I had to remind him, like, to me, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen. Um, because even today, even, I don't think I honestly could coach at the capacity that he did, meaning covering everything. Like he didn't just coach the game, he coached life to us. You know, and he actually steered a few guys away from a bad life, from just becoming worse. You know, we all know those people. Um, he steered quite a few young gentlemen into honest living, very respectable, productive people um, in society. And, um, you know, it was, it, it's, and I, if people don't take on the role model uh, title because it comes with such a stigma, people feel as though they're going to be um, scrutinized under the microscope, which you are. But honestly, who's not being scrutinized? No matter what you do, somebody's always going to have an opinion of you, regardless. So it's important to not live under a guise of what other people or society rules being placed on you. If something is in your heart, and especially if it's something that can be conducive to someone else's lives or lives, by all means, man, get involved. Get involved with that. So I commend him. I always have. I told him. I always praised him every time uh, we got up and I spoke to him I said do not underestimate the power that you have given to other upcoming young men and he you know he was I mean he you know he he, he appreciated it you know but I really I don't think honestly um he understood the depth of the impact that he had. 
He knew that he had an important job and he knew he did that job very well. He understood that. But I just don't think that he fully, fully, fully understand how he affected everybody around him. So my message today, and this is fathers, father figures, mothers, mother figures, anybody. If you have people that have the potential to see you as a leader or see you potentially as a leader, should I say, and gravitate towards you, by all means, do not be afraid to guide others, to help others, to, to help people be better people. It's nothing wrong with that. You know, it's nothing wrong with somebody gives you the title role model. Just take it and roll, you know? I mean, you can let it roll through one ear and go out the other and just keep influencing people. Keep showing them how to live a better life, all right? So let's have a blessed week, have a blessed day. Let's get it, y'all. Trees up.